Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. Right behind me is my 2005 TW200. I've been filming a bunch of videos on all the upgrades I've been doing on this. But today we're going to be doing some projects. The project I hate the most, which is changing the tires. We're going to be putting a new front tire on, a new rear tire, replacing the tubes inside, as well as replacing the chain and the rear sprocket. So let's jump into today's project. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Consider subscribing if you like what I'm doing. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Now today we're doing my worst task ever. I hate changing tires. I've tried a bunch of times. It's a pain in the you know what. So I am not going to be doing a how to. It's more like me going to show you what I'm doing. And if you like to follow this how to, be sure to. So guys, since I'm replacing everything with the stock chain, stock sprocket and stock tires, I'm going to mark where everything currently lies now. I use this thing called cross check. It's a tamper proof uh, marking mechanism. This you put on things to visually see if they've loosened up. So I'm going to do that on this uh, snail gauge thingy here. That way I know where it's left off. I'm going to do it on the other side and then I'm also going to mark where this is because you'll be able to slide the axle back and forth. Now on this side, there's quite a bit more things. Again, I'm going to mark here. I'm going to mark here and then I'm also going to mark um, where the rear brake attaches to along with the thread. That way everything is in the same spot. Obviously I can adjust it if I want, but this just gives me a mental uh, reading of what everything is when I put it back together. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna crank up some music for you guys while you watch me move super speed to take off the rear wheel. pretty straightforward to take the rear wheel off. Um, I just held up my new sprocket here and it is a different size. So I do not know if I ordered the wrong one or if this one is not stock. So what I'm going to do is still go forward and replace the tire. And in the meantime, I'm going to do some Googling, count the teeth here, count these ones and see which one's stock. Um, and go from there. But either way, I'm going to use the new one and the new chain because that is the right chain um, links as I ordered it as a kit. So I'm going to put you back to listening to some music while you can watch me struggle changing these tires. So it's been about two weeks since I filmed that last footage. I decided to go on a one week RV trip with my family to see how I actually live in the RV before I start that build. But that being said, I put about 70 miles on the TW and I need to change some things. So if you recall, I changed the rear sprocket and put a new chain on. The sprocket that came with the bike was actually aftermarket and smaller for a higher top end speed. I put a stock rear sprocket on and I'm going to change that back. On top of that, the back of the bike, the turn signals are aftermarket. I purchased some stock ones and we're going to put those on and then I'm going to talk about all my upgrades and was it worth it.
Alright guys, so my 2005 TW200 build is complete. So let's go over everything I've done and remember there are videos for everything I did. Just check them out in my playlist and let's go over what my thoughts are now. So I started off with the general engine service. I did the oil change, filter change and spark plug change. Everything went fine there. From there I put a much beefier and better, bigger skid plate on the TW. I put a new chain on there, I put a new rear sprocket on, I put a stock rear sprocket which is 50 teeth, then I went and upgraded the pegs to much bigger, about four times bigger than the stock pegs. I put a nice big rear rack on the back, I put new front springs, a new rear spring, put new handlebars on, upgraded the headlight, then I also put some ditch lights on. there I decided uh, I needed some bar guards to protect when I fall and then going to the back I put on stock turn signals whoever had this bike before me uh, put some aftermarket little ones on I figured the front is stock may as well go with the rear looking stock and then lastly I put one of the best accessories I put on all my bikes is a license plate lockbox be sure you check that out so guys I put about 70 miles on the bike and from there I decided to change one thing and maybe another thing from all the changes. Firstly I have a 1450 sprocket set. That is stuck. Um, I tell you what you change gears every 7 miles per hour with that stock combo. So luckily this bike came with a 47 tooth in the rear and I kept the 14 up front but I changed that out. The bike rides much better now. Secondly, the rear spring. You see, I'm a heavy guy. I weigh 280 pounds. I went with the heaviest spring you could get. I kind of regret that. The ride is like riding a brick. So, if you are maxed out at 280 pounds with your gear, I still wouldn't recommend this. Even though ProCycle does, I would go with the medium spring. I'm going to ride this uh, shock for a while off-road, on-road or the spring and see if it breaks in if you will and then if not I'll be switching to the one below which is about 20% from stock. This is 40% stiffer or 60% stiffer from st uh, stock. So all in all this bike is great. It's a fun little fool around bike or it's a fun first bike or it's just a great bike but for me it is my recovery bike for my overlanding adventures that I'm going to be starting next month and beyond. So what's next for the channel? Well guys I have plenty more. I have a 2020 uh, Ford Expedition Overland build coming up. I have a 2020 uh, Jeep Gladiator Overland building up. And then I have my camper. I have a Winnebago 2306 uh, Micro Mini Camper. That is not really overlanding or off the grid. So I'm going to make that completely off the grid. And then potentially, hopefully, um, going to change out the axle suspension and do independent suspension on the camper. So guys, plenty to come. Be sure you like, subscribe, and check out all my other videos on the channel. I have over 100 videos to help you figure out how to build your dream garage and fun project videos. So just a reminder, October I'm giving away a $150 OmniWall Power Tool Organization Set. Be sure you leave a subscribe, thumbs up, and a comment below, then you're automatically entered to win. So until next time guys, thanks a lot for tuning in and I'll see you then.